So before started, I assume that you have already one environment running. For me, it's a production environment that is running with four applications, two applications and two databases, a Postgres and a Redis one. Okay, so to duplicate that environment, it's as simple as getting into that environment. So I'm already here. Click on actions and click on clone. Yes. From that, you can say, hey, this is, for instance, let's say that you want to create a demo environment for your PM from the production. You can call it production PM demo on. You can set select to the cluster. So here I'm going to stick to the production one because that's the only one that is running. Set the mode. So let's say it's a development one and click on create. That environment has been created, but it's not deployed yet. Okay. Everything has been cloned, so you can check at the environment variables, the secrets from your applications. And then when you're ready to go, you can just click on deploy. And that's it. It works. It has been deployed. It has been duplicated. Now it's in build the phase, then in deployment phase, then when it will be, it will be ready. We'll have access to dedicated URLs to get access to the different applications into that environment and make our change demo and whatever we want. So if we go back to the environment list, we can see that we have our production that is running and the production PM demo on. If I do want to duplicate one more time that environment or even the other ones that has been duplicated, it could be done this way. Let's say that now we want to have like a production benchmark on, same. Production, I take this cluster, the mod, development, and that's it. I can once again start it. And now uh, we have two new environments that, that are in deployment state instead of one only. You see, very easy, very straightforward to duplicate your environment. So let's wait that it's over. And then in the next video, I will show you how to delete that environment.